Good morning, everybody. Today we'll start with what? Permanent tissues. So, what's a permanent tissue? The little one. Tell me. The one in black. The one in black. Not you. The one in black. Yeah. Tell me. What's a permanent tissue? Give me the answer. I'll show you on camera. You want the camera? What's a permanent tissue? Basic question. Hai. Sit, sit. Mahi, what's a permanent tissue? Lose ability to divide either permanently or temporarily. Now, if the permanent tissue is made up of only one type of cells, okay, only one type of cells, you will call this permanent tissue as homogeneous or heterogeneous? Homogeneous. homogeneous. So, you will say that, sir. This permanent tissue that you are trying to teach us is what? Homogeneous. And such a permanent tissue is called as a simple permanent tissue. Kya kahenge usko? Simple permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue. Understood what is a simple permanent tissue? So simple permanent tissue is a tissue which is made up of only one type of cells. Correct, Michalo? And when it is made up of different types of cells, Okay, then you'll say that, sir, this permanent tissue you're talking about is what? Heterogeneous. So let us call it as a complex permanent tissue. So what are two types of permanent tissues, guys? Simple, Simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues. Simple tissue, permanent tissues are made up of only one type of cells. Complex permanent tissues are made up of different types of cells. Do you understand, everybody? Now, a simple permanent tissue can either be classified as you can classify it as parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. Right, kids? And a complex permanent tissue can be classified into two types. Good, that is xylem and phloem. Okay, so what are the three types of simple permanent tissues? So the three types are the one parenchyma, then we have a colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Correct, which one? No. Let us talk about some points on parenchyma. Let us discuss the nature of the tissue. Okay? Nature matlab, whether is it a living tissue or a dead tissue. In plants, some of the tissues can even be dead. Okay? So when I teach you sclerenchyma and xylem, I will teach you how they become dead. Okay? So but right now we remember that Parenchyma is an example of a living tissue. Okay? Then, what are the characteristics of the parenchyma? So, let us first introduce the parenchyma. We will see that parenchyma is a primitive tissue. It is a primitive tissue. So, you will ask me a question. Okay, sir, why is it called as a primitive tissue? Because it is found in, or you can say that it is the most oldest. It is the most oldest. oldest. And with respect to its structure, it is very simple. As compared to a xylem or a phloem, which would be considered as more advanced. So, abhi maybe Android 10 is going on. If you talk about Android 5, Android 5 in front of Android 10 would be considered to be what? Primitive. The advanced version would be considered to be better. Something like that. So, it is considered to be the primitive one. Whereas xylem and phloem would be considered to be the advanced one. 
so you will find them even in the lower plants like you will find it in bryophytes also which are the lower plants you will also will find it in angiosperms and gymnosperms so jo primitive plants hai unke paas bhi kaun sa tissue paya jayega parenchyma you will find it in both the generations in the sporophytic generation as well as the gametophytic generation that is why we consider it to be a universal tissue and all the other tissues they are developing from this particular tissue that is why it is called as a fundamental tissue so how do you introduce the parenchyma is a parenchyma tissue na in sare plants mein उनके स्पोरोफाइट में भी है और गैमेटोफाइट में भी ये सबसे ओल्डेस्ट है सबसे प्रिमिटिव है और इसी में से काफी बार डिफ्रेंशिएट होकर दूसरे टिश्यूज बनते हैं इसलिए हम उसको क्या बोलते हैं फंडामेंटल टिश्यूज अलग साथ से वन यस और नो नाउ द पेरेंट कैमेटस सेल्स कैन आइडर बी स्पेरिकल और दे कैन बी ओवल Okay, or sometimes they can be what which are polygonal. You understand all the shapes, and they can be with or without intercellular space. So look at these spherical cells. Do they have intercellular space? No, no. So what is this picture? इंटरसेलुलर स्पेस का नाम ठीक नो बोल रहे हो सो व्हाट इज द स्पेस इंटरसेलुलर स्पेस नाउ लुक एट दिस सेल्स डू यू सी द इंटरसेलुलर स्पेस सो दे कैन बी विद और दे कैन बी विदाउट इंटरसेलुलर स्पेसेस दिस सेल्स कैन आल्सो बी व्हाट आई रिटन आई सो डायबेटिकोरूस so the cell wall is thin thin matlab it is still ready to undergo what which you know elongation it is pectocellulosic these are carbohydrates and it has got both cell wall has got both pectin as well as cellulose but it has more amount of what which you know cell are you getting my point everybody they show the presence of what which you know vacuoles prominent vacuoles can i say it's a difference when it when you compare a parenchyma with very stomatic tissue they show the presence of vacuoles as well as which they show the presence of what which are stored food got okay? it and they also show the presence of what kids they also show the presence of chloroplasts Is the class getting my points? So, can we point out some differences with respect to the very stems? In very stems, the intercellular space were absent, absent. and it can be present. Vacuoles present. Vacuoles usually absent. Stored food present. Stored food absent. Chloroplast present. Chloroplast absent. So, out of the two, very stem and parenchyma, who is showing more? डिविजन ऑफ लेबर काम करने का कमिटमेंट क्लोरोप्लास्ट है मतलब वो कमिटमेंट दे रहा है कि भाई मैं फूड कर बना सकता हूँ क्लोरोप्लास्ट है मतलब वो कमिटमेंट दे सकता है कि मैं स्टार्च बना के उसको स्टोर भी कर दूंगा समझा मेरा बात तुम यही सब ऑर्गेन नहीं दिखाओगे मतलब आप किसके लिए कमिटेड हो सर डिविजन के लिए सो यू आर नॉट सोइंग स्पेसिफिक वर्क आई होप गेडिंग माई पॉइंट बिकॉज वेन आई टॉक अबाउट इट्स Types, you will see how different type of functions it does. Are you getting my point, everybody? Parent gametes 
uh, tissue is a soft tissue. It's a soft living tissue. Did you get the points, Bachelor? Okay. Now let us talk about its location. Okay, where is it located? It is located in almost all parts of the plant body. So you will see the presence of parenchyma in the roots, in the stem, as well as in the leaves. And you will also find it in the pulp of the soft fruits. Okay? You understand pulp? Yes. Mango ka part that you eat? Pulp. So the pulp of the soft fruits is also made up of what which you know? Parenchyma. Okay? So when it comes to the location, it is found at different different places. Now, now let us talk about its types. And with the types, we'll also discuss it what you know, functions. Okay? Remember while writing, you'll use a big page and write everything one below the other. So you'll have parenchyma, polenchyma, and yeah. sclerenchyma on one double page. One side all. Parenchyma ka property. I don't have room space. No so you will have first point that is nature of the tissue. Second point will be characteristics. Third point would be location. And the fourth point would be types and functions. You get my point? So the first type is called prosenchyma. Okay? These are living elongated cells <coughs> which show the presence of all the parenchyma features like the presence of chloroplasts and this and that. Okay? And these are found in the pericycle of the root. Another point which you Pericycle yeah, of the root. If, if you remember morphology, I told you that the lateral roots are endogenous in origin. Ato the point? Okay, there are roots. Do they arise from outside or inside the root? Inside. From a tissue which is called pericycle. Okay? So right now you remember that pericycle is a type of a tissue which is found inside the roots. And when we will study the ground tissues, when we will take the TS of a root, at that time we will show actually where the pericycle is. Did you all follow what I am trying to tell you? So, prosenchyma is more of an elongated type of parenchyma. And it will help to give a little bit of what? Mechanical support. Okay? It will help to give what would you know? Mechanical. mechanical. You understand the mechanical support? Everybody understands mechanical support? Okay. So the second type is chlorenchyma. So from the name itself, what does it suggest, Bicho? That it shows the presence of chloroplast. So that is what is called as chlorenchyma. So where it will be present, Bachelo? All green parts of the plant, especially the leaves. Okay? In leaves, we are going to study a tissue called mesophyll. Okay, so it is present inside the leaf. And what would be its function, Machilo? It will help in the process of photosynthesis. Are we getting it? Then, there is a type which is called as erenchyma. Okay. Now, here what happens is, the parenchymatous cells, these are few parenchymatous cells I have drawn, they are enclosing an air cavity. What are they enclosing, but you know? Air cavity. Okay? As a result of which, it will be able to give the plant buoyancy. Have you heard this word buoyancy? Yes. What do you mean by buoyancy? Yes. The ability to flow. So, erenchyma shows the presence of what? Air, air cavities. cavities. And these air cavities will give what which you know? 
buoyancy that is the ability to float in the case of which type of plants aquatic plants what are aquatic plants called hydrophytes okay so arenchyma is a specialized type of parenchyma which shows the presence of air cavities then there is a type which is called cutinized epidermis okay now what is this cutinized epidermis like if you look at a leaf then the outermost layer will be called as the epidermis and this epidermis will keep on losing its water to the environment so the leaf does not want it so it will cover the epidermis with a waxy coat which is called as the cuticle and now the job of the cuticle will be it will help to reduce the loss of water by the process of transpiration alag sa thoda said so such an epidermis is called as cutinized epidermis which shows the presence of the cuticle that will reduce the transpiratory loss of water okay then that parenchyma which is present in the xylem is called xylem parenchyma and the one which is present in the phloem is called as phloem parenchyma okay there is a extra type which okay we can mention which is called edioblast okay and these edioblasts are those parenchyma cells which help in storage a special type of storage okay so these are the different types if you ask me sir what is the main function of the parenchyma what is the main function of the parenchyma of all the different function that is doing these are the modified functions it is doing but what is the parenchyma supposed to do primarily so primarily primarily ka matlab kya hota hai mainly parenchyma is made for what which you know food storage alaksha so it is a tissue they just completed bachcho parenchyma 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 comes under a simple Sintra. tissue okay is it same type of cells or different type of cells same type of cells okay how are the cells they can either be spherical they can be oval or they can be polygonal and they can be with or without intercellular space cell wall is thick or thin 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 made up of dash and dash it has more amount of water charge than the cell hai na what are few differences with respect to meristem inke paas vacuoles hote hain stored food hota hai aur chloroplast hota hai सर इनको इंट्रोड्यूस कैसे करोगे ये सबसे पुराने टिश्यूज है ये हर प्लांट्स में पाए जाएंगे ये गैमेटोफाइटिक्स पोरोफाइटिक जनरेशन में भी पाए जाते हैं एवरीबॉडी ओके देन व्हाट आर देयर टाइप्स एंड व्हाट आर देयर मॉडिफाइड फंक्शंस देयर टाइप्स आर मेनी देयर मॉडिफाइड फंक्शन आर मेनी बट देर प्राइमरी फंक्शन इज फॉर फूड स्टोरेज The cells are what elongated. Then it is what process time of for mechanical support. So no current time of for photosynthesis. Air in time of will be what buoyancy is hydrophytes. This will reduce the transpiratory loss of water. And here we have xylem parenchyma and phloem parenchyma. Clear? Okay. Any questions? Which so with respect to the parenchyma, what was the first point we had studied? nature of the tissue here also what is the first point nature of the tissue. the whole point sub same right ha bachcho so the nature of the tissue here parenchyma is a living mechanical tissue okay so one of the main functions of the parenchyma is to give mechanical support to the plant okay i mean you continuously using the word mechanical support mechanical support can we draw an analogy to understand what is mechanical support ek udaharan ek human being se udaharan de tumhi ke tumcha body madhe je bones ahe bones te kay deta mechanical support ek kaam kariya body madhe sagle bones kadun tak 
will i be able to stand no, no i'll be like a slime <laughs> fall down i don't understand what happens so who gives that mechanical support that is required by the muscles and the internal organs body oh. so it forms a framework mm-hmm. skeleton so can i say the living tissue which forms the framework of a plant body is colenta hindi mein bolu the living tissue that forms the mechanical support in the plant body is what colen kaima aaya samajh mein so who gives mechanical support and it's a living tissue colen kaima what are its characteristic features let us talk about that first these cells they are in the ts what is the ts transverse section they appear polygonal they see they appear they are appearing polygonal and in the ls ls is a longitudinal section vertical one some more work there they appear elongated so how is their appearance in a ts they appear polygonal whereas in a longitudinal section they appear elongated look at their speciality the khas special feature at the corners they show extra depositions of hydrocolloids like cellulose hydrocolloids water retaining compounds like who cellulose as a result of which they will get the flexibility and because of which they are able to give more of mechanical support so they show the presence of what do they show the presence of bachcho extra depositions of what bachcho lo cellulose at the corners as a result of which what is the advantage they give they are able to give what which of mechanical support my class follow it and because of the extra deposition of cell cellulose you will see that intercellular spaces are absent so it does not show the presence of intercellular spaces they can show the presence of chloroplasts and if the chloroplasts will be present they'll be able to do photosynthesis so if what is present bachcho chloroplasts chloroplasts then they can do what photosynthesis okay so can i say their cell wall is thicker as compared to that of a parenchyma and a meristematic tissue Are you like that? Do you all follow up to here? Where are they located? What is their location? They are located in the hypodermis of a young dicot stem. Where are they located, which one? They are located in the hypodermis of a young dicot stem. Now you must be thinking, what is a hypodermis? Young dicot stem, do you understand? Sunflower is an example of a dicot. Consider it's young stem. So I have cut the stem. Do you see the black layer I am drawing? Who is that? Which row? Epidermis. And beneath that, do you see the blue layer of cells I have drawn? I am not sure. Give me yes or no. Can I say it is just beneath the epidermis? so let me call it as what hypodermis of which plant i am showing you which look sunflower okay i want you to show you one more plant and that is cucurbita okay oh, okay the <laughs> the kakadi ka family who is this epidermis epidermis and uh, who is the blue layer which look hypodermis Okay, 
and do you see a clear difference that here in case of sunflower it is continuous whereas in the case of cucurbita it is in patches so the NCRT mentions it without an example it says that either it can be continuous or it can be in patches it is found continuous in the case of sunflower it is found in patches in the case of ah, so it is found in the hypodermis of a young dicot step it can either be continuous or it can be found in patches Ayana, itna samjha hai aapka now it is absent in an old dicot step after it has shown secondary growth you won't find it okay then it is absent in the dicot root and is absent in the monocot stem as well as the monocot root so what are the locations where it is absent it is absent in a dicot root in an old dicot stem and it is absent in the monocot root as well as the monocot stem true and false ke liye important statements ha teen jo last statements the kafi important true and false ke it is found as a continuous layer or it can be found in patches it is found in a young dicot stem absent in the old dicot stem absent in the monocot stem and the root as well as in a dicot root gela bheja gela bheja samajh lo thoda bheja jo okay now it is also found in the leaf margins and the petiole of the leaf where is it found bachcha it is found in leaf margins and it is found in the petiole of the leaves clear all of you should i proceed further so what is the main function bachcha okay it performs two functions one is a mechanical function and the other is a vital function what is a mechanical function the other is a vital function the vital function it performs is prakash sanslation that is photosynthesis other vital manje kya physiology ayana like your bones your haddi they have a mechanical function that is to give your muscle support and they have a vital function that is erythropoiesis formation of red blood cells हड्डी कौन हड्डी आपके मसल्स को क्या देता है सपोर्ट और दूसरा काम क्या करता है सो आरबीसी बनाना उसका क्या है और मैकेनिकल सपोर्ट देना क्या उसका मैकेनिकल इट अलाउस द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द ट्रीज टू टेक द or to take the perpendicular stress so we say that it allows the branches of the tree to have tensile strength explain this way okay who is this branch of a stem and there is a monkey hanging on the branch does the branch break does the branch bend yes it can bend it's a heavy monkey it eaten a lot <laughs> okay so when the branch bend yes but does it break no so is it the is the branch able to take those perpendicular forces yes so it has got which strength bachelo the tensile strength to take that mechanical stress okay jab hawa chalti hai jab hawa so jor se hawa chal to ek झाड़ वो क्या करता है बेंड आवाज आने का फिर से ऊपर है समझ तो चुकेगा नहीं चुकेगा नहीं सब ऊपर से नहीं चुकेगा नहीं यू शुड नो वेन टू झुकने का वेन टू नॉट देर वॉज आई फॉकॉट द नेम ऑफ एट चाइनीज जनरल हुई फॉकॉट इज नेम यार 
how I don't know. Okay. Okay. How she like? How she will be hosting her? Let me go again. Okay. Mao or something. I forgot his name. What he did was he he had lost the war. Okay. So he retreated. He started running back. And when he retreated, he retreated through the entire China. जो तेरे मागा रहे थे ला, तो he started walking through the entire China. And when he was walking back, he was collecting people, motivating them, telling them to join the army. So when he finished, he had a huge army with him, and he won it back. जी क्या नहीं, जी क्या नहीं, all idiot things he keep on telling you. Okay. And we we Maharashtrians. We have a saying also, you know, क्या है मतलब मोडेन क्या है व्हाट वी सेइ मोडेन पर वाहना है क्या है समझ लो थोड़ा सा ता अपने लोग वेरा लगता है सब माज़ब पर्सनल ओपिनियन है थोड़ा सा ता चेंज कर लगा क्या है समझ लो क्या है मेबी वाकुन तुला मोडन आरसो का इतनी कहना लगा क्या है ऐसे कहते हैं मेरे और नो फिर तो जो क्या गाने ही चुके हैं गुड एग्जांपल इट इस गिविंग गो कॉलेन टाइम लेट द प्रॉब्लम गो अवे ना विल कम बैक हैव यू सीन द पत्ते दे दे आर एबल टू स्वे इन द विंड दे डोंट गेट दे डोंट टीयर फटत नहीं दे लो दे आर एबल द द लीव्स the leaves bend and they take the tearing forces of the wind do you agree with this statement bachelo yes. what do the leaves do bachelo they sway the bend and with that they take what the tearing force of the wind the wind can tear you know you see this political banners they tear the political banner so what do the guys do they put holes into it they allow the wind to pass through it the leaf does not have a arrangement It has got colon kaima, so the colon kaima will give it the necessary flexibility. It will give it the necessary mechanical support to sway. Sway means somebody swayed him. Have you heard the statement? Sway, sway, sway. Huh? Can you show me one more detail, bro? Yes, sir. Sir, sir, don't play. No, no. I have got the points. So, who is the living mechanical tissue, guys? Colin. 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 Ah, you can complete the book. We'll be left with Claire and Claire.